guys, thanks for popping in. It's your girl Dupe here, and you are sent up TV. Okay, um, so I've actually been in Abuja for a very long time now, and I haven't like done anything. I do, I don't go anywhere basically. So today I'm going to the fish market, and I think I should just take you guys along. So.
Hey y'all, so I'm back home. But first and first, I need to freshen up. Actually, when I go to the market, I do not shower. Because I know when I get back, I will definitely have to shower again. So what's the point of taking my bath before going to the market? So, and I also just like to go to the market like in the morning when, when everywhere isn't rousy, very crowdy, you know, just really, really works for me. But for now, let me freshen up and then I'm going to show you everything that I got. I look so tired. Oops. Yeah, guys, so I'm back with the freshen up, with the fine scene, Lauren, like, oh, I want to sh Oh, God, you're so pretty. I want to show. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, remember that um, I was wearing, I was putting on a scarf the other time. And yes, whenever I go to the market like that, I wear a scarf because of dust. I do not like dust settling on my hair at all but then i was in a car yes that was like a rare case of me going to the market and being in a car going to the market in a car so it's just my brother going out and i was just like okay let me use this opportunity to just go with him and i was just like okay let me go with him so he can drop me off at the market so you guessed right i came back with a bike which is the reasons why which is one of the reasons why I go out tying scarf and when I was in the market my loads were getting too big and it was and it became so um, uncomfortable to continue filming so I stopped filming or the filming was kind of like sketchy sort of so now we're going to go through all the things that high bought at the market things are so expensive guys kilo J are we not supposed to eat it oh we got German kilo shell gone gone like things are so expensive super expensive each time a vendor gives me change i'll be like oh long shame will you change it back where are we going i'm going to start with small stuff here here i have you guys saw me when i was buying the potatoes it's actually a very big potatoes i normally don't like big big potatoes but i wasn't just in the mood to engage the guy too much and i got this for 250 naira. and i'm also writing down the prices for accountability purpose and cashback these are my stuff um, these are basically like me i'm the only one that eats this in this house so um this Three crowns is not 900 naira, guys. Guys, 900 naira. I'm screaming. I just thank God that Golden Mall is still like the same. Golden Mall is 750 naira. And sunlight, this sachet, this side is, um, what's the brand name, bro? Or what's the next? Let's wait, 200 grams. And it's 100 naira. I think it's about the same. Inside here, I have silver. You, know, you guys saw me when I was purchasing it. This is 500 naira. This is freaking expensive. Like, I do not expect that silver will be this expensive in Abuja. See, guys, 500 naira. Kilo de gongo talashe. This is right. This is two modules. Actually, when the woman was telling me that one module is like 900 naira, I thought it was something like a um custard you know that paint plastic size for me to see that small thing like our normal congo nibado 900 naira jerusalem but he managed to sell this for me for 850 naira per one and yeah this is where we are this is like our rice plastic and this rice is going to serve us for many months because we don't eat rice in this house we are actually beans lovers now that brings me to it if you haven't seen my ewariro recipe or my ewariro videos you can just go check it because this, that's the only thing we eat in this house beans then i bought obono this is one new cup of obono which goes for uh 600 naira garlic um this is 100 naira garlic I also got a call for the Echo Lover of this house. <laughs> it's like 20 naira each, but this is 10 to 
four, six, eight, ten, and this is two hundred naira. This one is mine. This is fufu. I'm a fufu lover. Like I love fufu. Bajebaje. Now I got green leaf uh, for vegetables. Um, this is four. I got four of these. They sell it 50 naira, but when you buy like four, you can get it for 150. I got this vegetable, I don't know the name, but it looks like Bagba. Actually, it needs it more. But this is 50 naira each. And then half row, this is 100 naira half row. Guys, I don't know what is happening. Things are super expensive at the market. And I heard that during Ramadan period, things usually go skyrocket. Now, another one that's really, really annoying me is this pepper this is supposed to be a 300 naira worth of pepper this is totally different from what we used to buy before this guy barely puts tomatoes inside this thing one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay put tomatoes <laughs> this is 300 naira now to the demand the demand of why I went to the market gone gone is this fish. This is three kilos of mala fish. And the cheapest one kilo of fish that you will find at that market right now is 1,200 naira. And that is mala. Like guys, panla is now 1,200 naira per kilo. Panla, eja, eja panla mani. Panla, did anybody who can fair? But I actually like it. I recently just discovered my likeness for panla. Me, my wedja, I don't buy insha. But this is what it is though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is how we buy it weekly because the person I'm living with eats panla, eats fish like it's a daily bread so we i try to manage it to be enough for us but like one week but so usually this is one week but i only go to the market once a week to buy fish and this is three kilos 1200 naira per kilo there is seven of this fish here and not really big just there you cut it into like four sizes <laughs> Uh, well, that is that for my market ones, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are new here and you like my face, my funny face, <laughs> please hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you can always know whenever I upload a new video. And I'm going to see you all in my next one. Bye, y'all.